Top of the second, and here's the most dangerous bat for the Cougars. Tavis Brunson playing right field, batting sixth. Three seventy nine batting average coming into today. And he leads Caldwell in a majority of categories. If you're curious, I'll let you know. Hits, RBIs, total bases, slugging, batting average, and at bats. Leads the team in all five of those. Breaking ball. Count is even at one and one. Brunson, this is his final season. He's a graduate out of Westfield, New Jersey. Transfer out of Union Community College. That ball is way upstairs. Tavis gets out of the box, takes his time, now we'll resume play. Swing and a miss, heavy cut from Brunson, but an even better pitch from Gutierrez, count is even, two and two. Brunson has struck out eight times, and has yet to walk this season. Now count is full. Ball is outside and low. Gets on base just under 42% of the time. That's pretty good. The payoff. Swing and a miss. That is straight gas from Gutierrez. His second strikeout. And there's one away. Next up, the third best hitter for the Cougars, Jalen March, playing center field today. Batting 360, slugging 640. And he also has a home run to support that slugging percentage. Right towards second base, Torres off the first pitch, two away. Good contact from March, but it was a hard ground ball right towards Torres. Close towards right center, but Torres was right there for it. Next up, Noah Putney playing left field. Two sixty three batting average on the year, five hits and nineteen appearances. Looks at strike one. Very late on that swing, 0-2. Oh and, and this is a very good thing for the Golden Falcons. And why I'm saying that, Caldwell really started off the year. Their offense was pretty consistent, averaging around 6-7 runs a game. Strike three looking, and that'll end the inning. Third strikeout for Gutierrez, and Putney doesn't even get the bat off his shoulder. 1-2-3 inning, heading to the bottom of the second. It's 4-0 Golden Falcons. You're watching Felician Baseball on the CACC Network. 